here is the delicious home page. To sign up, you click on sign up. If you are someone who uses your smartphone a lot, a lot, there is an app and you can get the app and download it to your smartphone. Um, I have not used the app. Like most apps, it possibly has less features than the website, but if you're a smartphone user, I would definitely look into the app. To sign up, you simply click on sign up. If you have a Twitter account, a Facebook account or a Google account, you can simply sign up through one of those. The advantage is that you will now have just a one less login and when you click on just say I sign up with my Google account, if I click on Google, it's going to open up to a sign in. These are all the different accounts I have. So if you're already signed into your Google account, if you have one, you'll simply click on it and it will sign you up automatically and there'll be nothing for you to fill in. See, it already did this. Perfect. So that's a simple way to do it if you have a Twitter or a Facebook or a Google account. If you do not want things to be connected, if you want to keep things separately, you don't have to sign up with Google. You don't have to sign up with Twitter. You don't have to sign up with Facebook. But if you're one of those people who likes to integrate your stuff and share with the world what you're saving and doing, you can do it. So if you don't want to sign up through Google, Facebook, or Twitter through one of your accounts, or if you don't have one, you click on sign up and you can do this. Sign up with your email address. And you simply name, email, your username, which does not have to be your email. And remember, there's a lot of users. So if you have a common name, your name, dot your name might not be an option. Password. Remember, it says eight characters or more, no spaces, and you check off the I am not a robot, what it's asking you to do. Stay in the loop with delicious trending. I would uncheck that box because otherwise you get more stuff than you really want. And then you'll simply click sign up for delicious. If you get this screen and you are a Chrome user, I would not recommend Delicious Mail. I do not know anything about it, and I assume you probably already have an email account, so you don't need another one. If you use Chrome as the browser, there is an extension that makes it easy for you to add links to your Delicious account. So if you use Chrome, you can go to the Chrome Web Store and add the extension to your account. Now, if you don't use Chrome and you have no idea what I'm talking about, you can completely ignore this part of the tutorial. But if you're into Chrome, you can click Add to Chrome, and you'll get a message, and you have to be in the Chrome browser. So if you're Internet Explorer and you go to add the Chrome extension, it's not going to work for you. Or you're in Firefox, or Mozilla, or any other browser if there's any out there. You have to be in Chrome. And like I said, you don't know what I'm talking about, don't even worry about this part. So if you do, you do Add to Chrome, you click Add, and then you will have another extension. See this little delicious bookmark? So what this does, it's really, really easy for you to be able to access websites. If you click on it, it automatically saves, gives you the choice of when you want to save a link. I'll show you this later. But that's how you sign up for Delicious.